But today we're going to add in some stretches and some more work to kind of deepen our practice. All right. So one thing I just wanted to say before we begin Please don't put any pressure on yourself that this is a new year and you've got to get fit now. The whole point of our work together is that we come together every Friday and we work on our well-being and we build our fitness up as we go. All right. So take that pressure off yourself and just enjoy today. All right. So let's get started. Coming into our standing position. All right, we're going to start standing as we did on Monday. We're going to add a few more movements. But first thing we're going to do is just stand up nice and tall. Have your feet hip width apart. And place your hands on your tummy. So just underneath your belly button. Okay, we're just going to think a little about our breathing. So breathing is so important in Pilates. It really does get all the core muscles functioning well. So let's focus on that for a moment. I want you to breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. So let's take a deep breath in. And now breathing out through the mouth. Deep breath in. And breathing out. Now you keep that going. As you inhale, think of your ribs trying to expand out to the side. And as you breathe out, you're going to feel them come back together. So trying to get that air into the body. Big breath in. And breathing out. Good. Breathing in. And breathing out. One more deep breath in. And breathing out. Now let your arms drop down to your side. Relax your shoulders. We're going to take a breath in, lift the arms up. Breathe out, big stretch out to the side. And again, deep breath in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and one more time. Inhale, and exhale. Now we're going to roll down. So you're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to breathe out. You're going to take your chin to your chest. You're going to bend your knees, and you're just going to start to roll down. So I'm just going to go sideways so you can see rolling down towards the floor. Really try and let that head hang down so we're taking any tension out of the neck. And take a breath in. Breathe out, pull your tummy muscles in and unroll the spine all the way back up. Let's try that again. Deep breath in. Breathing out, so chin to the chest, knees soften. But tummy is pulling inward, so you can feel you've switched on your core muscles. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back up. One more deep breath in. And exhale, chin to the chest. Bending the knees. Coming back down. Inhale. And exhale. Coming up. Now I want you to come to the end of your mat. So you've got your mat in front of you. I'm going to start to do a little bit more movement now. So we're going to take a breath in. We're going to breathe out, chin to the chest, rolling down. At this time, you're going to try and place your hands on the floor. So bend your knees as much as you need to, to get those hands on the floor and not to feel any tension in your back, okay? Because this is about starting the new year. We're just tuning up the body, just getting it moving again, all right? Now, from there, I want you to walk your hands forward. Keep your knees bent. Walk your hands forward. Keep walking, keep walking, and bring your knees down to the floor. Relax the toes. And then just sit back on your heels for a little stretch, taking your head down to the floor. Then you're going to come back up, 
hands under shoulders, tuck the toes under, lift your bottom up to the ceiling, nice little stretch there, and then reach back. So think of your chest going back towards your thighs. If you need to bend those knees because your muscles are tight after Christmas, that's fine. Do whatever you need to do. You want to feel a gentle stretch. And then I want you to bend your knees, walk your hands back, heels down on the floor, take a deep breath in, exhale, uncurl the spine, coming up. So we're starting slow. If you feel you can do more, you can have those legs straight. So take a breath in and then exhale, chin to the chest. Bend the knees rolling down, hands going onto the floor. So your option here is you can keep the knees bent or you can let those legs straighten as you walk out into a plank position. You choose what feels right for you today. Then you're going to place the knees down, relax the feet, sit your bottom back onto your heels and just stretch your shoulders, stretch your back. Good. Then you're going to come up, tuck the toes under. Those of you that want to can come into your plank position and lift your hips up to the ceiling. And think of chest back towards the thighs. Nice stretch through the shoulders, lower those heels, nice stretch through the calves. And then walk those hands back, bending your knees as much as you need to. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Coming back up. We're going to do that sequence one more time. So take a breath in. Breathing out into the chest. Bending the knees. Rolling down. Just let your arms, your head relax. Hands onto the floor. Walking forward. Knees bent or straight. Whatever works for you today. All right. Hold it there for a moment so you're getting your core work. And then gently place the knees down. Relax the toes. Sit the heels back. Okay. And here we're going to stay. We're going to try and widen the knees and sink that chest a little lower. All right. So while we're here, we're just letting our body relax. We're just noticing where we might feel some tension. Maybe some tight muscles. It's nothing to worry about. It's just about recognizing where your body is today. Not being hard on yourself, not judging yourself. Just thinking about where you can feel it, maybe you can relax a little more into the stretch now. All right, now I want you to gently pick your left hand up and take it over and place it on your right hand. And then see if you can sink your body down to wherever it wants to go. Don't try and push it. Just see where it wants to go to. So feeling a nice stretch here through the back of the body. Down through that left side. Good. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, try and relax down into it. Good. Now take that left hand out to the side, bring the right hand over the left, take a breath in and as you exhale, let's sink down and see if you can find a nice stretch there through the right side. So you might feel this in the arm, the shoulder, down the spine, back at the pelvis, the hip. That's it, take a deep breath in, breathing out, see if you can sink a little lower. Good. And then take that hand back out to the right. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Pull the tummy muscles in and just unravel that spine coming up to sitting and bringing yourself now into a kneeling position. So we're going to start to work our spine a little. OK, so first thing I want you to visualize is you can spread your fingers. You're going to think of it as if you're pushing the mat, the floor, away from you. Okay, so I want you to push the floor away and feel how that starts to extend your upper spine. You can lift your eye line away from the floor, looking slightly forward. You feel the upper part of your back working. Now take a breath in. And on your next breath out, pull your tummy muscles in and tuck your tailbone under. 
and then feel that stretch going all the way through the spine. Let your head drop down. Inhale there. And then as you exhale, think of sending the tailbone away. So it's almost like you're sticking a bottom out. And then again, push that floor away and find that extension in your upper back. We'll do this two more times. Deep breath in. Exhale, tucking under. Inhale to hold. Exhale, go back the other way. And really push that floor away and find that extension in your upper back. One more deep breath in. Exhale, drawing the tummy muscles in. Nice rounding of that spine. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Back the other way. Good. So I promised you that this is Pilates for new beginnings. So we are going to do little bits of stretches and movement just to get ourselves doing, uh, get ourselves moving. So I want you to think of a dog with a waggly tail. All right. I want you to start imagining that you're a little doggy and your tail is wagging. So your hips are swinging gently side to side. Your arms, your upper body is staying where they are. All right. Now, what I want you to do is take your hips to the right. And now turn your head to the right and try and look as if you are looking around towards your imaginary tail. And then come back to the center. Now hips go the other way. So you're going to your left and you're looking down and looking back towards that hip and back to center. So we're mobilizing the spine and we go to the right. And center to the left and center good last two to the right and center and to the left and center well done and then from there you're going to come and lie down on your back so you can do it whichever way you want okay come and lie down let's have the knees bent feet hip width apart all the way down onto your mat arms down by your side, feet quite close to your bottom, as long as your knees are comfortable, okay? And you're gonna try and keep your knees in line with your hip bones, hands pressing down, arms are active, so they're not resting, they are active on the floor. You're gonna take a breath in, we're gonna breathe out, we're gonna tilt the pelvis towards us, and we're gonna peel the spine up off the floor. So as you press up, you're trying to find that stretch in the front of your hips and thighs. Feels really good. Inhale. As you exhale, really relax your chest and bring yourself back down. So you want to try and visualize your spine moving segmentally. So you're going to exhale, tilt. You're going to start to peel up. So pubic bone lifts and you're lifting through the back of the hips and the back of the waist, then the back of the rib cage till you feel the weight on the back of your shoulders. Then you're going to inhale there. Exhale now, soften down. So going back of the shoulders, back of the ribs and then the back of the waist and then finally the tailbone. That's often the area where we're very stiff between the back of the ribs and the tailbone. So take a breath in, exhale, tilt, and roll the spine up. So we're going to go a little faster just to get a bit of heat in the body. Inhale, exhale to come back down. Deep breath in, exhale to tilt, and roll the spine up. Inhale to hold. And exhale to come back down. Deep breath in. Exhale to tilt. And roll the spine up. Inhale. And exhale to come back down. Last one. Deep breath in. Exhale to tilt. Rolling up. Inhale. And exhale to come down back down. Well done. So you're going to bring your feet and knees together. You can take your arms out to the side, palms up, and we're going to let our knees drop over to the right hand side. So going for a little stretch. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, pull the tummy muscles in, come back to center. Then the other way. Inhale. 
and exhale. So let's get that breathing going. Inhale as you go right. Exhale back to center. Inhale as you go left. Exhale back to center. And again, inhale right. Exhale center. Inhale left. And exhale center. Now bring your legs up one at a time to tabletop. So tabletop is shin parallel to the ceiling. You're going to pull your tummy muscles in so you can lift the other leg up. We're going to reach our arms overhead. And we do a little bit of abdominal work. So arms are overhead, but they're not resting on the floor. Let's straighten those elbows. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, pull the tummy muscles in, lift the head and chest, and come on up. So the arms sweep down to the side of the hips. And then you're going to inhale to go back. If that hurts your neck, you can have your hands behind your head and do it this way. Exhale to lift. <sighs> Inhale to lower. Okay. Exhale, lift. <sighs> and inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. <sighs> and inhale, lower. Just one more. Exhale to lift. And inhale, lower. Now leave your legs where they are. Circle the arms overhead and down to the side. Okay, so we're going to bring our legs back to our tabletop position. And we're going to do the spine twist with our legs in the air now. So you're going to breathe in. Knees going to the right, but try and keep your left shoulder blade down. So this is going to work your core, but you'll feel your spine moving. Mine is clicking a lot. And then you're going to exhale, come back to center. Other way, inhale as you go over. Exhale to come back to center. So inhale over. Exhale to come back to center. Inhale over. Exhale center. And we're going to inhale over, last two. Click, click, click. Exhale, center. And inhale over. Exhale back. Well done. Let's take those legs down. We're going to have the left leg straight along the floor, the right leg in the air. We're going to do our leg circles. So this is really going to loosen up your hips. Feels great. You have that leg as straight as, as is okay for you. A lot of people post Christmas really tight in the hamstrings. All right. So what we'll do is we'll do it with the leg bent if you need to. If you've got the flexibility, then you can have the leg straight with the foot flexed. All right. So from here, you're going to take the leg across to your left. Let your hips go with it so they move and then sweep them around and up. So you go across the body, down, out to the right and up. You inhale, exhale, circle. Inhale. Exhale, circle, one more, inhale, exhale, circle, come back to your start position. Let's go the other way, so right leg goes out to the right, inhale, exhale, circle, down over to the left and up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, circle, last one, inhale, and exhale, circle. Now take hold of that leg wherever you can reach, okay? And then just hold on. So I'm going to hold on the back of my thigh. Just allow the leg to come down. Let it straighten and flex the foot and point. So we're going to bend, straighten, flex and point. Bend, straighten, flex and point. Bend, straighten, Flex and point and bend, straighten, flex and point. Well done. Take that leg down to the floor. Let's bring the left leg up. We're going to do the same thing. So circles, arms out to the side. Here we go. We're going across, down and around. So it's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale one more, and 
and exhale back to the center. Let's go the other way. <clears throat> inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. <sighs> One more. <sighs> well done. Hold it there. Take hold of the back of your thigh. And then we're going to bend the knee, straighten, flex the foot and point the toes. Bend, straighten, flex and point. Bend, straighten, flex and point. Bend, straighten, flex and point. And bend, straighten, flex and point. Well done. Okay, so from here, come into your tabletop position with that leg. Let's bring the other leg up. And we're going to do the beginning of the hundred. So this is a very well-known Pilates exercise. Today, we're just going to do 50 because we are at the beginning of the year. All right, so legs will stay where they are. This is a really good breathing exercise. So you're going to reach your arms overhead. You're going to take a breath in. You're going to exhale to come back up. And you're going to stay here. Any issues with your neck, please put your head down. Then I want you to take a deep breath in whilst pumping the arms. So you're going to inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. <sighs> And exhale, two, three, four, five. Now I want you to see if you can reach your hands forward, lift your chest anymore, and then pull your knees as far in as you can. Now take hold of those knees and just hug them into your chest. That's it, good. And then when you're ready, you're gonna do a little roll up to sitting. Okay, so let's do the roll up or the half roll back. We did this on Monday and we're gonna build on that today. So again, depending on tightness here, any tightness, keep the legs bent. Otherwise legs can be straight. Back is nice and straight. Make sure that your neck is relaxed, arms out in front. You're gonna exhale, drawing the tummy muscles in, coming back as far as you can hold it. So if you feel your feet start to lift, don't go any further, okay? And you're going to take a breath in. You're going to breathe out to come back up. But today I want you to reach over your legs, give yourself a stretch, and then come back up to your start position. So you're going to exhale, pull the tummy muscles in, coming back. Inhale. Exhale, come up, reach forward and stretch. And restack that spine. We're going to do three more. Exhale, tucking under, coming back. Inhale, exhale up, coming forward, stretch and restack. Exhale, inhale. This is often when you feel what's going on in your spine. So for me, because I've been sitting down a lot, I can feel I've got a slight twist in my spine as I come down. And again, we're not going to worry about it. We're just thinking, oh, okay. That's just something I need to work on. All right, so from here, we're gonna try our rolling, okay? If you have osteoporosis, do not do this exercise. If you have any disc issues, do not do this exercise. Otherwise, give it a go. All right, so the rolling. We're gonna start off nice and simple today. We're gonna bring our feet close to the hips, hands on the top, and I want you just to point your toes. Can you see how I'm lifting my heels up? And then I want you to pull your tummy in so you can feel the back of your spine, your lower back is rounding. And then all you're gonna do from there is lift the feet up in the air and let yourself do a little roll back. So hold that shape, little roll back, doesn't have to be far, and up. Little roll back, and up. If you feel that you can do more, you can do the way I am, which is back onto the top of the shoulders and up. Otherwise, keep it small. It's just about getting that body moving, okay? For three, 
or two or one. Well done, place the feet down. Okay, so we're gonna come into a seated position. Legs out in front of you. And again, you can be straight or bent. It's whatever works for your body, okay? So just because I'm doing this it this way, it doesn't feel right for you, don't do it. You can bend your knees or equally, if you find that's not comfortable in your hips, you can drop your knees out to the side for this one, okay? So we are going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to do a sitting rotation exercise. So you're going to take your arms out to the side. You're going to turn your palms up. And keeping your bottom half still, I want you to keep your arms in line with your shoulders, but turn your chest towards me so you can feel that rotation in your spine and then come back to the center. Then you're going to rotate the other way. And center. And I want you to, rather than use the arms, do it slowly so you're really using your core muscles here, your oblique muscles. All right, rather than any momentum. So we're gonna rotate and back. So let's take a breath in, exhale to rotate. Inhale, come back, exhale to rotate. So you're using that breath to help you get a little deeper into the breath, a little deeper into the movement. You should find you can go a little further and back, last one. And back, well done. Bring your arms down, place them behind you. Bend your knees. It's gonna stretch the front of the body now. So you're just gonna align those feet, uh, ankles and knees in line with your hips. Hands back, I'm gonna recommend everyone today has your fingers pointing out to the side. You want the feeling that the hands are behind you and that you're already feeling a bit of a stretch in the front of your shoulders and your chest muscles. Okay, from here, we're gonna breathe out, push into the feet and start to lift up and find that stretch. Inhale, come back down. So the idea is that the spine doesn't curl, the spine stays straight and you're just, it's just using leverage really, you're just lifting up. So press into the feet, lift the hips, and as you do, just let that spine tip back. And inhale to low. It's quite strong on the shoulders, isn't it, this one? Exhale to lift. Inhale to come back. Two more. Exhale to lift. Inhale back and exhale to lift. Inhale back. Well done. Just sit up for a moment if you need to. Just give your hands a little shake, a little release. And then come and lie on your side. I want you to have your knees bent. So one knee on top of the other. All right. And we're going to go down. We're going to do the clamshell. This is great for the hips, great for the glutes as well. So think of aligning your heel with your hip. And I want to put your hand on this hip bone here and press that hip bone away. Can you see how I've lifted here? I've got that gap here. So we're aligning our pelvis. Now keep that position. Take a breath in. And on the out breath, let's lift that knee up. So you're trying not to move in your spine, you're just moving all your hip muscles, your, your legs, sorry, using your hip muscles. And then you're gonna inhale to lower down. So you're gonna exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Do it one more time. Lift and lower. Now this top knee, keep it bent and bring it forward onto the floor and now straighten your bottom leg. Okay, now I want you to have that leg really straight and think of lifting from your inner thigh. So you're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower, one more, 
lift and lower. Now take this hand, place it in front of your chest and then reach the other leg on top. So you've got one leg on top of the other, but bring them slightly forward. So towards the front corner of your mat. And now you're going to lift the top leg and bring it down. You're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, and lift and lower. Now imagine we've glued those legs together. You're now going to exhale and try and lift both legs up so they won't go high. You're trying to do it without your pelvis rolling and come down. So again, this is targeting your waistline. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. One more. Lift. And lower. Well done. Bend your knees. Come on up. And I want you to slightly separate those knees. Okay, so can you see this knee is in front of this bottom foot? So we're going to do the mermaid, which is just a really lovely, lovely stretch. So hand here on that shin or the front of that ankle. This arm's going to come up and then you're going to reach over. Get a lovely, oh, so nice stretch through your side. Okay, if you feel okay in your head and neck, I want you to rotate your head and look up to the crease in your elbow. And then come down. Okay, and then you're going to place that hand down. You're going to reach the other hand up and stretch the other way. Big stretch. That's it. Looking up again towards that elbow. Well done. Let's do that one more time. So coming up and over. Big, big stretch. Enjoy that stretch. Find the stretch in your body. Turning the head to look up towards the elbow. And then down. Lifting up. Stretching over. Well done. And come up. And while we're here, let's pick up this leg. Bring it around to either here or if you're able, over the other leg. And then sit this hip bone down. So I did promise you stretches today. So that's why we're putting this in, just to get everything loosened up. So if you can, you want both sit bones on the floor. Now this opposite arm is coming around. You're going to lift up, take this hand behind you. And then hug that knee in. Find that stretch. You should be feeling that stretch all the way down here. All right, and then if you can, you're going to start to rotate your chest, rotate your head, and look at the wall or whatever is behind you. Just hold it here. Well done. Slowly coming out of that. And let's go do all of that on the other side. Okay, so we've got our knees together. We're going into the clamshell first. So lying down. Okay, aligning your heels with your hips. Then hand on this top hip, press that hip away. And then we're going to exhale to open, inhale to lower. Exhale to open, inhale lower. Exhale, open and lower. Open and lower. Open and lower. One more. Open and lower. Now you're going to bring this top leg onto the floor. Bottom leg is going to extend. Okay, and we're going to do a little lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower, good, lift and lower, two more, lift and lower, and lift and lower, well done, now this hand comes down, we're going to reach back, so we've got one foot on top of the other, 
Okay, and then we're going to lift and lower. So don't think about height. This is about control, working the side of the hip, side of the waistline for three, two, one. Now both legs together, deep breath in, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Good. And down. And down. Two more. And down. And down. Well done. So you're going to bend your knees once again. You're going to push yourself up for our mermaid. So we're holding on to this hand, to this leg, sorry, this hand. We're going to bring this arm up. And we're going to reach over and stretch. You're going to turn to look towards the crease in your elbow. That's it. And then you're going to come down, arm over, and stretch in the other direction. So stretch as much as feels good. That's it. You can turn the head out so you get a little bit of work through that neck. And then back. Let's do it again. Up and over. Looking up towards that elbow, good. And then coming down and over. Well done. And lift. Good. So from here, we're going to turn around. Okay. And we're going to come into our kneeling position as we started. All right. And we're going to slide the right leg back keeping your hips level, and you're going to do a lift and lower. Lift and lower. So don't think height, think of keeping your hips nice and still. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two more. Lift and lower. Now lift and hold that leg there. Pull your tummy muscles in. So think of a little lift here and see if you can remove your opposite arm. You're just going to do a little hold there. Four, three, two, one. If you can, you're going to bend the leg and see if you can reach the arm around to that foot. If you can't, don't worry. Just bend the leg and give yourself a little stretch. Reach back out and come down. Let's switch to the other leg. Okay, so again, align those hips and then we're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Four, four, and three, and two, one. Hold it there. Pull your tummy muscles in to think pulling in. That's where you'll get the hold and the balance. Bring your opposite arm out. Holding it, this is definitely a challenge after our winter break. And then you're going to bend the leg at the knee. Sweep that arm around and see if you can reach towards the foot. Find the foot. If you're feeling flexible, you can think of pushing your toes up towards the ceiling. If that's a little bit too much, just do what you can. Well done. Release, come back, place the hands down, place the knee down, and then let's do a little cat stretch to finish. So you're going to exhale, pull the tummy muscles in, tucking under. Inhale, and exhale back the other way. Deep breath in, exhale, tucking under. Inhale. Exhale back the other way. Deep breath in. Exhale, tucking under. Inhale. And exhale back the other way. So let's tuck the toes under. Let's lift ourselves up, back into our up stretch, and then reaching the weight back towards the thighs, lowering those heels down. 
pushing the chest towards the thighs. And then you're going to walk those hands back towards the feet. Now, just let your head hang here for a moment. We are nearly finished. All right, I just want you to take it nice and slow as we complete our movement today. So let that head hang, take a breath in, exhale, pull your abdominals in, slowly come on up to standing, so unraveling that body. Okay, and then from here, you're gonna take a breath in, lift the arms up, exhale out. Inhale up, exhale out. And one more, inhale up and exhale, coming out. Give yourselves a round of applause, well done. You've done your next session for 2023. Thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Just a reminder, I'm here live every Monday at 4.30, every Friday at 10 a.m. So do come and see me again. Don't forget to press the like button and please subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to stick around, I'm going to come onto the chat now so I can answer all your questions. And if you need to go, we'll have a wonderful day. And thank you for joining me for 2023. Take care and have a lovely day. Well done, everyone. Great work. I hope that felt good. I hope you got your little stretch there. Um, we try to put in a few extra stretches today just to help you get everything moving because I know it's been a, a long break for some of us, me included. Um, so a couple of announcements. I'm just getting my notes here before I forget. So I've done two uh, sessions for New Year. So I did Pilates for New Beginnings on Monday. That's 30 minutes. Do go and do that if you haven't already. It's a really nice session and it will really help just get everything moving again, particularly if you're feeling stiff and a bit kind of out of sorts post uh, our Christmas break. Uh, today was part two of that, a good 40 minute session. Again, something you can come back to at any time. Uh, and I'm going to do a playlist for you. I'll be working on that today, but that should be out for you on Sunday. Uh, so I'm going to try and get back into the weekly playlist for you now. So the playlist, if you don't know about those, you can find them if you look at my um, YouTube page just below. And if you look along, it says home videos, uh, playlist community. So under playlists, what I'll be doing is putting a playlist up every week, which will be seven videos for you to do during the week. Sometimes I add in a few extra when they're short ones that you can sort of add in when you've got five, 10 minutes. Um, but that's there as a guide. So you don't have to do them, but it's there as if you're not quite sure, because I know I've got quite a lot of videos on the channel now. It's my kind of selection. And I do think about it quite carefully when I do it. So the next playlist will be one that incorporates our workouts from this week, but other ones that I think will be really good for you to do at the beginning of a new year. All right. And that goes out normally on a Sunday morning. And then you can do that for the week. Uh, so that'll be out for you soon. And then next Friday, oh, sorry, Monday, I'm going to do Pilates for the knees. So anyone who's got um, what we say in the UK, dodgy knees, knees are a bit stiff, knees that got a few little issues. Monday's workout is going to be targeting work to support them. And as always, it will have lots of core work in, especially as we're at the beginning of the year. And then next Friday, I'm going to be doing Pilates for stiff hips. OK, so what I'm going to try and do is start January off by kind of just targeting all those little niggly areas that we all have, me included. And then once we've kind of worked on those, we'll get into a real kind of flow of sessions from there. OK, so knees on Monday, hips on Friday. And uh, yeah, I think that's it on me. So I'm just going to have a quick look down the chat now. Um, thank you, by the way, uh, for all your messages that came in in December. I think I mentioned on our Monday session, I think I had something like 2,000 messages across all my social media 
Uh, and I really, really appreciate your support and your messages of condolences. So thank you so much. It really, really did help me just get myself back on track. So I really appreciate that. Thank you, everybody. Um, now, I'm glad that's what you needed. I'm just seeing Josie Brick says, thank you. That was exactly what's needed. Uh, um says, good morning. So happy to see you back. Oops. So happy to see you back. Uh, you've been missed. Thank you for the great workout. Definitely looking forward to the rest of the year. Happy New Year to both of you. Thank you very much indeed. Josie Briggs, thank you for your donation. Uh, Leslie Matten says, thank you, Rachel. That was excellent. Really enjoyed it, apart from the rolling. Rolling is a bit of a nemesis for some people, isn't it? We'll have to work on those this year, won't we, Leslie? Uh, Yvonne Woodhouse says, just caught the last 10 minutes today, but so good to be back to normal routine. I know it really is nice, isn't it, to get back into kind of those sort of things that you know you do during the week. So thank you, Yvonne. I'm really happy to see you there as well. Teresa Williams says, Happy New Year. Thank you, Teresa. Yvonne, thank you very much for your donation. Much appreciated. Um, I can't, I don't want to miss everybody. So I'm going to whiz up to the top um, because I hate to miss out on people. I want to say hello to Lily Mars. Hi, Lily. Lovely to have you back. Nice to kind of be back working together, uh, which is lovely. I want to say thank you to Sally Gretarex. Good morning, Sally. You were here on Monday as well, weren't you? Thank you very much. And thank you so much for your donations. I don't like asking for money, but it does really, really help me keep this all going. So if you are able to donate either live here, as Sally has done, or uh, on my Ko-fi page, the link is down below in the description box. That really, really does help because all that money is kind of what pays for, you know, the equipment and the lights and these microphones that break every now and then, etc. So uh, anything you can do to help would be much appreciated. I did want to also suggest to those of you that are on Ko-fi, you can set up a regular uh, payment. So that would be a small donation, whatever you want, whatever you can afford, that you set up as a monthly payment. And it just gives me a little bit of money every month. And that's really, really helping. So quite a lot of people are doing that now. And it just means that I can sort of work out what I can afford to do each month uh, with my donations. So uh, if you can do that, set up a monthly subscription, that would be wonderful. You can start with I think you can start from three pounds. Um, a lot of people give me three pounds a week. Some people give me 10 pounds a week. You know, if you think of what a normal class would cost you if you were out in the world, you know, somewhere around there, that would be my suggestion. But that would be really, really great. OK, back to your questions. Cheryl Allen. Hello, Cheryl. Lovely to see you here. Uh, you've got a cold. I'm really sorry to hear that, Cheryl. Do look after yourself. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you back here soon when you're ready. Uh, Yvonne Thorpe, thank you, Yvonne, for your donation and your lovely emoji. Uh, that's wonderful. Happy New Year to you. It's really lovely to see you. Carol Neath, Happy New Year, Carol. Thank you very much for your donation. Uh, lovely to be back. It's so nice to see all these um, familiar names, people who have been with me for a long time. It's also lovely to meet lots of new people who have started this week as well. So it's been a really lovely start to the year. Uh, Carol Woolno, hello to you, Carol. Uh, says, morning all and happy new year. My Pilates motivation has been lacking for a few months, so I'm really looking forward to starting afresh this year. Thank you for all the inspiration, Rachel. Well, thank you very much indeed, Carol. Anything I can do to help, you know I'm here for you. Uh, so do reach out. What I'm going to do this January is just target all the niggles that we can get post a break. So most people, and in, I've been doing what Pilates 25 or more years now, and I've been teaching it. This will be coming into my 13th, yes, 13th year of teaching. The most common things people get are uh, ladies especially who are slightly older, shoulders, stiff shoulders, stiff hips, 
dodgy knees, uh, stiff lower back. And I get it. I have those things as well. So I'm always working on it too. So I hope that that helps inspire you that, you know, you can be a fitter, healthier version of yourself. That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here to help you do. This year, just to let you know, I'm going to try and incorporate some more mind as well as body work. So we'll be doing some more um, mindfulness in our movement. It won't change your fitness. Uh, 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 well, what do I mean to say? It will improve your fitness, but I'm going to get you to work a little bit more on the mind-body connection because that's the thing that really works so well I found with Pilates is that it de-stresses the mind and also that concentration on your body and how you're moving. It really does have a really positive effect in, in improving your fitness. OK, so we will be doing more of that. Um, super. Carlin Hawkgren. Hello, Carlin. Lovely, lovely, lovely to see you. Happy New Year to you. And yeah, isn't it lovely to be back with all our Friday friends? It's nice to be back in our group again. I have to say, I have really, really missed you all as well. So thank you. Uh, Sarah Runnicles, good morning, Sarah. Thank you so much for your do uh, donation and a very happy New Year to you. Essex Kaz, hello Kaz, lovely to see you here, happy new year. Uh, Kathy Freeman, Kathy in Berlin, hello Kathy, happy new year. I hope it's going to be a wonderful year for you. Raring to go, that's what I like to hear Kathy. I hope you really enjoyed that session. So I will be stepping up the levels of the sessions as we progress through the year, but January is going to be about getting ourselves back on track okay uh, one thing I did really want to say and I had planned to say it at the beginning of the session but I got waylaid uh, my mind went somewhere else was I don't want you to put any pressure on yourselves about where you're at right now with your fitness okay don't go through the guilt the blame the shame all that stuff that's rubbish let's just chuckle that away it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you ate at Christmas, what you drank. It doesn't matter. It's about today, this year, you and me. We're all starting afresh. We've got a new mindset. We're going to get ourselves feeling better in mind and body. All right. So just think of today is your start day and you've done your session today. So you can do a big tick, lovely pat on the back and think, right, I've started now. And it's just a matter of coming and meeting me as often as you can. So if you can't make the lives, you know you've always got the playlist. Yeah, and if you want to get in an extra session, you can always go onto my channel. And I've got sessions in there by time as well. So if you think, oh, I've got 10 minutes, I could do something, go and look at my 10 minute playlist. Pick something, do it. Every little thing that you do is going to get you feeling fitter day by day. And if you can do a little every day, it doesn't always have to be Pilates. You can come and do it with me, but you can also do things like go for a little walk, take your dog out, all that kind of stuff. All of that will help improve your fitness. All right. So that's what I want you to think about. Don't worry about the past. It's about now, the present, being together, working out together and moving forward together. Carlin, thank you very much indeed for your donation. Much appreciated. Judy Hogarth, lovely Judy in Dorset. Hello, Judy. Good morning to you and a very, very happy new year from all of us here. Uh, big hugs to you, Judy. So nice to see you here. Anna McDougall, good morning, Anna. Lovely to see you here. Anna says, good morning, everyone. I'm looking forward to this. I've recommended this channel to my cousin, Christine. So hopefully she will be joining today. So Christine, if you're watching, hello, Christine, who's Anna's cousin. Lovely to have you here. And Anna, great to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. Ruth Enright, good morning, Ruth. Lovely to see you here. Uh, Ruth says, Happy New Year to everyone. May it be filled with good health, fun, and laughter. Special hugs to Rachel with best wishes. Thank you very much, Ruth, and the same to you. So lovely to see you here. Um, okay, Tatiana, 
Maranaki, hello to you, Tatiana. Good morning and a very happy new year. Thanks for joining me. Lovely to see you. Uh, and it's your first time you've got a live. Tatiana, that's wonderful. Your first time live with me. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the session today and I hope to see you again. Yes, come back and see me again live. Corina Perry, uh, Corina, buenos dias, como estas, Corina? Uh, estoy aprendiendo español ahora. Um, I hope that was correct. I'm trying to learn Spanish. That's one of my things this year. So I'm on the, uh, I'm sure lots of you have got it, the Duolingo app, but I'm doing a little 15 minutes of Spanish every day. So hopefully, Corina, I'll be able to talk to you in Spanish soon. That would be cool. Um, Corina says, back from my walk and determined to reset my lazy Christmas habits. That's what today's all about. A little reset for us all. So lovely to see you, Corina. Susan Eisenbach, good morning, Susan. Lovely to see you. I love your emoji with the coffee. That's what I'm going to be having next. I'm going to go and have my, this is my treat, is coffee after my workout. So thank you, Susan. Lovely to see you. Sue Sambles, happy new year, Sue. Really lovely to see you as well. Lots of lovely friends here today. Madeline Woodhead, Happy New Year, all Pilates buddies. Not able to join you live. As always, I'm going to be catching up every other morning. Thank you, Madeline. Lovely to see you. Catherine Studd, thank you, Catherine, for your donation this morning. Catherine says, I'm off work with COVID today, so can join live. There have to be some benefits. Oh, bless you. Well, I'm so glad that you are feeling okay to exercise, Catherine. Do look after yourself. Um, COVID, it does need rest as well, remember. So do take it easy for the rest of the day. But thank you so much for coming and to see me live and for your donation. That really does help. Uh, Diane McFadden, hello to you, Diane. Happy New Year. And Diane says, good to have you back. I have used lots of your videos over the holidays to keep me going. Oh, I'm really, really pleased to hear that. Thank you, Diane. Caroline Ford. Hi, Caroline. Lovely to see you here. Caroline says, hello, everyone. Lovely to be back after months of building disruption. I so need this, Rachel. Oh, my God. Is it finally done, Caroline? I'm really glad to hear it. I hope you're enjoying your new renovations uh, and that you're back with me. That's wonderful. Thank you, Caroline. Lovely to see you here. Rona Stevens. Dear Rona, happy new year. Thank you so much for your donation this morning. That was very, very kind. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Uh, Dominique Sorolesco, Happy New Year. Uh, welcome. Nice to see you here. Helen Lees, hello to you, Helen. I know you're not here live, but I know that you like to watch the chat. So I'm saying hello to you and hope you have a wonderful, wonderful year. Penelope McLeod. Good morning, Penelope, over in uh, West London. Lovely to have you. Happy New Year to you too. And Penelope says, my new knee isn't up to a class yet, but I hope to be back in early spring. Congratulations, Penelope. You had your knee replacement, I think that means. So do take it easy. Make sure. I know you're really good with your um, physio, so do all your physio. And uh, if you feel up to it, have a look at my uh, Pilates for painful knees. Uh, in fact, uh, Penelope, Pilates for very painful knees. That video is a video in a chair that works all those knee muscles. So that might be something you can start to do when you're feeling okay. And also just to let you know, I have got some more videos to put out. I have just have had time with everything that's been going on. Um, but I've got some videos in chair, in the chair, upper and lower body one. For those of you who want to do that kind of work, I've also got a very special video on the breathing and Pilates. So I will try and get back into the flow now. I feel, as you can see, my energy levels are back up. So I'm going to be back on track in the next couple of weeks with those. But Penelope, congratulations. I'm really glad that you've got that sorted. And uh, I hope all your uh, post-op rehab is going well. Angela Porter. Good morning, Angela. 
Angela says, I'm new to Pilates. I have osteoporosis with back fractures. Thanks so much for mentioning the exercises which are not suitable for those with osteoporosis. I do love your osteoporosis specific sessions. Angela, you're very, very welcome. So Angela, what I would really recommend is do all the osteoporosis sessions that I have. I know you are already. Keep repeating those. Do standing works really, really good for building strength in those spinal muscles and your glutes. And in terms of these classes, you can join these classes. You just have to remember, Angela, for you, you need to avoid any movements when you are sort of doing going forward into flexion, especially if you've got fractures in your back. You've got to be very, very careful. You want to be doing a lot more movements going the other way. Um, but I'm glad that you feel OK. I'm glad you're really glad you enjoy the sessions and you find them beneficial. And for anyone else out there who's got osteoporosis or osteopenia, do check out the sessions I've got on the channel for osteoporosis because they are really specific to helping you build the strength where you need it for your condition. It doesn't mean you can't do our other sessions, but they're very specific to that condition. And what I always recommend for anybody is Try and learn about your body. If you have a condition of some kind, or like Penelope, you've had your a knee replacement, or you've had a hip replacement, ask all the questions that you can of your medical professionals. Ask all the questions you can of your physiotherapist. Learn about your condition, because the more you understand it, the more you can uh, take part in our workouts, but also adapt them for your condition. I do try and mention as much as possible the main ones, but it's not always possible to include everything and everybody. So once you learn what the things are you can do and what the things are that maybe you need to avoid, then you can come to all my sessions and you just adapt them to suit you. Uh, but I'm really glad to hear that, Angela. Thank you very much for sharing that. Laura in Texas. Hello, Laura. 4.39 in the morning. Well, I'm very proud of you, Laura, for joining us from Texas. Welcome. Uh, Laura, maybe you can join me on Mondays because I do a 4.30 p.m. UK time, which I think in Texas is about 8.30ish in the morning. So that might be one that you could join live. Uh, lovely to have you here and well done for getting up so early. Sheila Frankie. Hello, Sheila. Thank you very much for joining me. Happy New Year. Uh, Laura says, oh, you've got up too late. Not to worry, Laura, you can do it at any time. And just for anyone new who's watching, I go out live, but as soon as this live is finished, uh, it plays throughout the channel. So in fact, it's playing now. So you can go back to what I was doing an hour ago and start the class at any time that you want. Lucy Gruitt says, thank you for the session. Thank you, Lucy, for joining me today. Uh, Lucy says, oh, you've got a question for me, Lucy. This has a question. With my RA, my wrists are really in bad shape, so I can't put any weight on them. How can I adapt the moves that require putting yourself on your wrists? Lucy, that's a wonderful question. There's two ways you can adapt depending on how your wrists feel. I find a lot of people with RA, it's that kind of having your wrist in this position is very painful, isn't it? So you can either make a fist, and let me show you. You can either, instead of having your wrist here, you can make a fist like this, which keeps the alignment through the wrist. So you're not straining those ligaments that are inflamed. So you can do it this way, and that's not far off the kind of the position you need to be in where you're doing those movements. And if that doesn't work for you, the other way is to come down onto your forearms. It's a little bit more tricky with some of the movements, but you can still do the leg lifts to the back, etc. You can still take an arm out and do a balance. So have a, have a little play around with those two positions and see which one works for you. Uh, so I hope that helps. Uh, Anne from London. Good morning, Anne. Anne says, thank you very much, Rachel. That was a great session to get the rusty body started again. Happy New Year to everyone and have a great weekend. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Anne. Really glad to hear that. 
Uh, okay, so going down the chat, I know I've spoken to you, Josie, and I thank you very much for your donation. Caroline Ford, thank you for your donation. Cherry Marshall, thank you for yours. Cherry says, thanks, Rachel, a great session. You do so much to help us keep fit and agile. You're very welcome, Cherry. Thank you very much indeed. Sorry, I've missed a few people out, which I didn't want to do. Uh, Yvonne Woodhouse, thank you for your donation. Dorothy Tate, bless you. You're my number one fan, apparently. Thank you very much for your generous donation, Dorothy. That really, really does help. Um, and a happy new year to everyone. Leslie Martin, thank you very much for your donation. Pat Dunn, hello, Pat. Lovely to see you here. Pat says, happy new year, Rachel. Lovely to see you back in action. Thank you very much, Patricia uh, or Pat. It's lovely to be back, I must say. It does feel good to be back into my life. Pam F. Hello, Pam. Pam says, thank you so much. I resolved to exercise more from the 1st of Jan and totally failed until I saw this one and I really enjoyed it. We'll catch up on the Monday one and look forward to the next. Thank you very much indeed, Pam. Yes, um, Monday one, anyone who hasn't done it yet, I did 30 minutes on Monday. It's a lovely, gentle session. It's just the sort of thing you need when you're feeling a bit like, oh gosh, I really need to get moving and I don't know what to do. So do go and do that one uh, when you can. Carlin says, so happy to be back. Really great way to begin the year. It is, isn't it, Carlin? It's wonderful. So thank you very much indeed. Um, Tatiana says, I love the session. Do you know I had only done the seniors classes, but I pulled it off and I'm really happy. Well done, Tatiana. You see, that's all the work that you put in last year. It's made you really nice and strong. And that's what I want everyone to think about today who's still with me, is that your strength comes from the regular movement, doing it on a regular basis. So that's kind of the mindset that I want to help you get into this year. Not thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to go and do a really big session on Saturday because I didn't do anything this week. It's more getting into that habit of doing it little and often. Even if you just do five minutes, I do have, I know I've got at least two five minute videos on the channel. Even if you just did a five minute video, it's getting into that habit of showing up to do your movement that will really, really benefit you. And even if you think, oh, five minutes doesn't do anything, it does, because it's teaching your mind to show up to take care of your body, yeah? And that's what we're kind of trying to train ourselves into this year, is doing it on a regular basis. Uh, and even if you do five minutes, you are doing something, okay? So think about that. Uh, Ruth Enright says, fabulous start to 2023. Thank you very much. Carolyn Ford says, that was such a lovely class to return to, Rachel, after such a long time away. Sorry, you've obviously had a rough time uh, whilst I've been away with the builders, but a very happy new year to you and Kevin. Thank you very much, Caroline. That's really thoughtful of you. Sarah Ranicle says, great start, have missed uh, this and your hubby um, uh, and you. Hubby has been critically ill, uh, better now onward and upward. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sarah. My best wishes to you and your hubby. I hope he is on the men now and yeah, we send lots of love uh, from us. Stephanie Langton, good morning, Stephanie. Stephanie says, thank you for a great workout. I really needed that. I did have to adjust some of the uh, some because of the dodgy wrist, the arthritis. Good, but you made you you made your adjustments. That's what matters. Happy New Year. Must go and do Monday session. Yes, go do Monday session. Thank you, Stephanie. Anne Butler says, great stretches, but roll-ups. I know we're gonna work on our roll-ups this year, Anne, aren't we? Um, I think we all need to work on those. Uh, Anne says, uh, Anne Garwood says, hi, Rachel. I'm recovering from COVID and sadly, I'm not doing too well. I'm not able to take part at the moment, but I'm tuning in to watch and to enjoy being part of the family. Bless you, Anne. Well, you know what? Just tuning in, if that helps you feel better, 
I am really, really pleased. And and maybe think about when you are feeling a little better, trying to do one of my five minute videos. Uh, even if you just do five minutes or just do the first five minutes of what we did today, which was standing, it was breathing and just nice little stretches with the arms, anything just to get yourself moving a little. Because I know with COVID, it's so debilitating. And also it brings you down mentally, doesn't it? And I think just doing some movement will start to feel you a bit lifted, even if you sit in a chair and just do some nice stretches. So have a think about that, Anne. But I do wish you all the best and hope you feel better soon. Um... Uh, thank you for the coffees, Anne Butler. Sally Gretarek says, thank you for the motivation, Rachel. I've struggled a bit after a bad chest, but I've managed most of it without coughing. Have a lovely weekend. Yeah, lots of people have got colds. I really hope you feel better soon, Sally. Take care of yourself and wrap up nice and warm this weekend, won't you? Uh, Caroline Ford, thank you very much for your donation. Carol Woolno, thank you very much for your donation. Uh, Dorothy Tate, hello to you. Uh, Via Richard, uh, thank you for the five stars. Thank you very much indeed. That's very kind. Um, Carol Nee says, so good to see you back, Rachel. A great start and a reset for the year. Uh, Summer Flida, hello, Summer. Uh, lovely to have you here. Someone says, Happy New Year, dear Rachel and Kerwin and Pilates friends. All the best. Thank you so much for all your kindness, your generosity and for being here. You're very, very welcome. Uh, Carla, you're doing Duolingo as well. Uh, you're learning Ukrainian. That's amazing. Well done. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Johannes Lucky says, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. I'm just getting to the bottom of the chat because it's nearly time for me to go. Janet says, Happy New Year to you. Thank you for your lovely, positive, can-do exercises. You are such an inspiration to us all. Jeanette, thank you so much. That's really kind. Uh, Karina says, really appreciate the detailed instructions and reminders as we work today. You're very welcome. Thank you, Corina, for watching. Cla uh, Claudia Munch um, says, just a quick one as I'm at work. Happy New Year to you all. Hope it is going to be a fab one. Thank you very much. And Raj Kovai says, this is Raj from India. Happy New Year to you. I'm watching many of your videos. And thank you for your valuable input. That is wonderful. Oh, well, everyone. I want to wish you all an amazing weekend. This is the beginning of 2023. We are going to have a wonderful year together. Fitness, well-being, kindness, support. That's what this channel is all about. So thank you for being here with me today. I will be back live on Monday at 4.30 UK time. That's going to be a special for the knees. I'm going to be back live next Friday and we're going to be doing some work to loosen up and release those tight hips. And I'll have a playlist for you out on uh, Sunday. All right. So take care, everybody. Have a really wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye for now.